I'm a farmer from Vihiga, Kenya. Working on these planting legumes like cowpea and maize, cowpeas and beans. Today I'll take a short video to show you the varieties of cowpea that I planted over this year. One of the varieties is called the Zitumbu, one of the varieties that we planted of cowpea. You can able to see the kind of leaf, the pore that's here. Even the leaves are shamo of it. It's part of cowpea that we have here. For these varieties, for maturity, is take for maturity is take like two months and a half for maturity to be matured. So I'll take you around to be able to see the varieties. Averagely, you can find 10 to 11 seed per pod without doing good. And what I can say about the varieties, these varieties itumbu. It's one of the indigenous varieties here that have been planted for a long time through custodious farmers. It's a good variety of cowpea. It's drought resistant, it can say it's resilient in drought, in, on all weather. It's a good variety. Yeah, so we are doing that to see how we can improve and make it to be better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see this is one of the varieties. You can see the pot, the quite strong. The length of the pot is almost two inches, almost two inches the length of the pot to compare to other varieties. I will show you to another line how you can see the other variety that we have. We are so linear. The linear variety that we have here, other varieties. Because over these years, we're able to plant six varieties of cowpea that I'll take you around to see. Have another varieties which the, the leaves are purple. You can see the variety leaves are purple and the poles are two, almost four inches the length. You can see for another, for another varieties, the poles are too long. Yeah, for this variety is climber, is climber but the production is yielding good, giving a lot of production. You can see how it looks, how big it is. I think the one of the good varieties that we have here is most planted by farmers, but intercropping. Most of farmers they plant varieties because of intercropping. For monocropping, give them some work for looking for some stick to support the support the cowpea. So most farmers like to plant intercropping, not monocropping. We can see how it looks. The pores more than six inches, almost six inches that you can see here. How different varieties, the one which is linear. You can see for the varieties, this too much linear, the leaves are linear. Leaves are so linear. To compare to these varieties, they're very different to compare the varieties. The flowering is purplish, the flowering is purple. It's one of the varieties good. Even the leaves are so hard, but soft when you cook. It appear hard in, in first, but if you touch the textures hard, the cooking soft. Here, most of people, we consume the leaves, even the seeds, but most of people, we consume the leaves here. Have the last variety, which is a purple. You can see the purple variety of the cowpea had been planted. This is one of the most improved varieties that we are trying to plant to see and apply the seed for farmers so that it can do good here. So there is a lot here. There is a lot here. I know I'll be keep updating you in harvesting, preservation, and many other issues over here. But cowpea is part of the food that you are consuming here, leaves and the seed. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time. Bye.